Hello all, 13th of January 2016, Dan here from Essex United Kingdom. So I'm in the process of cooking my dinner here on the wood-burning stove. I don't claim to be any great chef or anything, but uh, nice and simple this evening. We have some baked beans here, and we have some hot water here, which I intend to make some tea with. Obviously you could boil vegetables or you could boil rice in there, something along those lines if you wished, or some soup or a stew, something like that. And I've got some bread here, which I've actually toasted one side of this already, as you can see. And I'm now going to toast this piece of bread here. So I'm going to put this in like this, and we are going to hold it like that and proceed to toast it. So, more than one reason to do this. One reason, of course, simple reason, is it's just good fun. Reminds you of uh, sort of camping, doesn't it? When you do your marshmallows on the fire and your toast and that sort of thing. Another reason is, is just if you've got a good source of wood, you know, that's affordable or ideally free, then you can, <coughs> excuse me, you can do this in order to save yourself a little bit of money. Because every time you put your kettle or your cooker or your toaster on, of course, you're costing yourself a little bit of money. And of course the day could come when there's a, a power supply problem or a gas supply problem, something along those lines, but you have got another option. So you could, you know, warm up water here, small amount of water just so it wasn't freezing cold for washing yourself or washing dishes or whatever, and as I stated before, for making tea and that sort of thing. Just keep an eye on this, because of course it can burn, and you don't. Nobody. Well, some people like burnt toast, but I certainly don't. Look at that browning up beautifully. Of course, the closer you put it to the fire, the uh, quicker it will burn, quicker it will toast. So just keep an eye. Lots of care required. There you go. All done. You can do the other side if you want, but uh, I'm not too worried about that sort of thing. Nice bit of. Uh, toast there look what I'm going to do is just uh, put that over there spread my butter put my butter on the top like that I'm not going to spread it in too much because I'm just going to stick the beans on top there we go Good enough. so what we're going to do now I'm going to now get my tea and close the door take the lid off put it upright don't want to get ash in there and we are now going to Oh, steaming. Of course, any tea that's your thing, normal tea, green tea, herbal tea, coffee, coffee substitute. You could heat up milk on here, whatever your bag is. Of course, you've got to be careful with regards to the sort of health and safety of things. I'm going to be burning your hands. I'm going to put my beans on here. I mean, this is not necessarily the healthiest meal here, but... Uh, I'm using it largely as a demonstration. Of course it takes longer because it has to heat up, longer than using the microwave or a toaster or something like that. But uh, <clears throat> that's when organisation comes into it. So I don't know how much it would cost to heat up meals like this or similar to this, but I'd imagine if one did just a couple of meals a week like this, over a period of a year or so, whoops, this could be a little bit of a saving, couldn't it? I'm trying to get them beans out, but uh, never mind. Oh yeah, spread that on there. Nicely spread. Very warm. Mm. So there we go, beans on toast cooked on the wood burning stove. Fantastic. So yeah, work has begun on the backyard orchard. I've set a pear tree on quince rootstock, which is sort of like a relatively small tree. Um, I have also set a minaret, which is like a vertical cordon stella cherry tree so that's two trees I'm um, still deciding what apple tree I'm going to have I'm considering a family tree different varieties on it due to the you know, relative lack of space 
I am also maybe considering grafting my own tree. As my long-term viewers know, I've done a fair bit of this before and I've got videos on this if you want to have a look on my playlist. With regards to plums, I'm probably going to have a Victoria plum. You know, most people involved in gardening and home fruit growing in this country know what Victoria plums are. Um, and probably a grapevine. So yeah, the plans, you know, <coughs> excuse me, you know, things are materialising. But like anything, slowly but surely is the way. And it appears that uh, many times in life, the tortoise will beat the hare. So this is my train of thought at the moment with regards to this. Being very busy with work at the moment, but that's a good thing. And yeah, many interesting things to come, hopefully. <laughs> Drinking my green tea, gonna eat the beans on toast. Have a good evening everybody, keep warm, stay healthy, stay happy, and I wish you all my very best, thank you.